All right, well, Mr. Waters, thank you so much for joining us today in our studio. It's a pleasure to have you. Absolutely. Um, you know, we're just going to start off. We, the band played this weekend at the Navy halftime show. Mm -hmm. They did Script Ohio, and you weren't on the, on the field there with them. What was that experience like? Well, uh, I, have to, I have to say it was gut-wrenching for me um, to not be with our students and not be with the band. It was the first time in 20 years that I had not been uh, on the field with a band in, uh, as, a, as a role of a student or a staff member. And it was, um, it was very difficult for me. I, I will uh, not uh, hide that fact. And, you know, but, but that is my connection to the band and the students. So it was, you know, it was almost surreal. It was almost an out-of-body experience to know that they were all there and know what was going on. You know, I kind of... Um, ticked the day and the timeline off in my head, you know, well, they would be arriving to the stadium at this time and, you know, warm up here. And, you know, it was just, um, it was a surreal experience, actually. And, you know, it's been a month since this has been happening. They've, the band has done countless performances in between, and you've probably been experiencing some of those same feelings. After, it's been over a month. How are you feeling? How has the post-investigation process in it affected your life with all the media attention. How are you and your family dealing with that? Well, you know, the band was indeed linked to my soul, my very soul. And to have that pulled away and pulled out, um, I, I, I just feel an emptiness inside. I really do. Um, you know, I, I had the best job in America. And I think very few people can... Uh, can say that. How many people in their lives can say, I go to work every day loving, absolutely loving what I do? And uh, that, was, that was, I think, you know, something that, that is a reminder really every day for me that uh, I don't get to do that anymore. Uh, and, and so, you know, it's, it's, it's bittersweet, certainly, and, and not being able to be with those students um, and to do what we do is, uh, is very difficult. Mm -hmm. And what else might have been difficult is a lot of this attention post the investigation. How you've been on the Today Show, you've been on Good Morning America, and you're here, you've done so many interviews. How is that affecting you and your family? You know, our family has been absolutely tremendous. Um, my, my wife and our kids have been just um, wonderful, uh, in fact, to deal uh, with all of this and all of this attention. And we've tried to, you know, keep the kids out of, uh, you know, the, the, off the TV and away from media. And um, my wife has, has stood by my side and uh, has been there for me every moment of the day. But, you know, when we talk about family, it expands beyond that. It expands beyond my immediate family. Um, and all of the students, all of the alumni, all of the community support, that family uh, has, um, you know, been just tremendous uh, support. And, and they've been there. They've been calling and, um, you know, sending notes and cards. And, you know, it's, it's almost like there's been a death. It, it really is like that. Uh, for me especially, it's, it's like, you know, a, a part of me has died. I, uh, you know, I've lost uh, a, a part of, of who I am. You know, it was, we are so um, defined, I think, by, you know, the people we are. And my job, in fact, defined the person who I was in many ways. And so that's been very difficult. Uh, but the family feeling um, has been tremendous. And, and I will say, too, that that is why we see such a pushback uh, from the family, the overall Ohio State family, uh, because uh, you know a family member um, and and an institution uh, within that family has been attacked, and uh, and and that attack has led to this uh, public outcry and, and support we see, and you know, and all these people with well wishes and um, signs and banners and um, you know support for the current students, support for me and my family. And that is because we're a family. That's because we're a large family. And that family, unfortunately, has been attacked with this report. So your extended family here, the students at Ohio State, the administration, uh, 
they want to know, what have you been up to for this time period? You know, what have you been doing? You haven't been on the field, haven't right. been directing. So where, where have you spent your time? You know, I've spent my time uh, with my kids. Um, you know, as this all happened, uh, I, was, I was able to spend uh, time with the kids. And I think the blessing uh, in this has been um, that, that I did get to spend a lot of time with my kids before they went back to school. Uh, we, our, our kids are... Um, 10, 9, and 7, and so um, they're into a lot of different activities, and, uh, you know, all of these, these years, these years of their life, I have been uh, absent a lot, you know, not been able to uh, be with them because of performances and rehearsals and, and all of that, you know, and the 80-hour and the work weeks and, and all of that. And so uh, I think that the blessing in this has been that I have been able to spend time with my family and, and uh, with our kids. And, and, and so, you know, the, the, the days uh, are occupied with, um, you know, just a variety of things, you know, trying to keep myself busy, trying to keep my mind off of, of things, and, you know, and, and, and still all the while maintaining the fact that, that uh, as I said before, this family was attacked. And, you know, I, I have to say that, uh, that so many people have come forward uh, as they have um, read the university's report and said, well, this is not true, this is not true, I did not say that. And, and so, you know, I, I work every day to continue to try to clear uh, the names of the students who were attacked, the names of, of the thousands of alums who were attacked, and uh, myself. And so those are the things that kind of occupy my day. Right, and you said that, you point out some things in the report that you claim are untrue and mm -hmm. have no basis. Um, but the university is very adamant in saying that you were dishonest during the investigation, you did not tell the truth. Mm -hmm. What is your response to that? Uh, you know, if there's one thing we have, it's, it's, uh, it, it's the words we use, it's the, the character that we have. And I tried to instill that in our students every day. Uh, and they're a living embodiment of that, in fact. Um, and and uh, the, the, the assertion that, that I was uh, untruthful in, in this investigative report um, is just simply false. Uh, you know, the, the questions were, that were asked, uh, some were, were leading and some were, um, were in fact questions that, that didn't even provide the right question to, to, for, for me to be able to answer. Uh, and, and, and I think the, the, uh, the dishonesty we see in the report with all the people coming forward and saying, no, I didn't say that. No, I didn't say that. Uh, this this uh, was taken out of context and all of the information that was left out of the report. You know, just think about, think about this, that, that if indeed the report were accurate, um, how could the band function at the high level that it does? How could the band do what it does on the field? Uh, and how could the band represent this university with, with such uh, great uh, dignity and pride, uh, volunteerism, energy, enthusiasm, um, and perform the way it does if the tenets of this report were uh, correct? And that, that is simply, uh, you, you know, there, there's no answer to that but that the report was flawed, uh, biased. Uh, I believe that there was a, an intention uh, to, to write the report with an end result in mind and the facts in between um, were, were fashioned to, to, uh, to lead to that answer. What reason would there be for something like that to happen? You know, I don't know. I, I think, uh, you know, so many, um, you know, theories and, and things are, are out there. I, you know, I'm not going to speculate as to uh, why that happened. Um, but what I will say is that we have shown so, so many time after time, and you don't have to take my word for it, but you can take uh, the witnesses' words for it, uh, that, that, that have written letters and, and come out and said, this is not true, this is not what I said. Uh, just take their words, and then uh, you know, take a step back and say, really, is, is this report something that, that we're going to continue to stand by? And all I've asked through this whole uh, investigation is an open and honest hearing of the facts of the matter, uh, an open and honest hearing of um, what, uh, what our students have to say, uh, 
what our alums have to say, what the community has to say, and what I have to say. And, and that just simply hasn't happened. The university, unfortunately, has become uh, you know, stubborn in, in thinking that this report represents the facts when so many people have come forward to discredit uh, what this report says. And so, you know, again, all we want, all we want is for a, an open and honest uh, understanding and hearing of the facts. The, 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 true, the true evidence of culture change uh, with our band is with the students themselves. And so, you know, had the university really uh, asked a wide uh, cross-section of the band, you know, a diverse, uh, wonderful group of our students who are interested in journalism, who are interested in business, who are uh, majoring in engineering and music and the arts and sciences, if, if they would really take into account a wide cross-section of the band uh, to really gather information. That would be a true um, investigation of the facts and an investigation of the true culture of the band. You know, I'll, I'll also mention that, that the band, um, you know, part of our culture shaping initiatives was, uh, was this program that we, uh, that we called March to Pay Forward, mm -hmm. where um, we, we did community service. You know, the band did uh, a, an item of community service, in fact, with the Nellie's Catwalk for Kids just a, a week ago. And that was something that, uh, that I set up uh, a couple months ago. And so... This is all part and parcel of culture shaping uh, and, and the things that we do as uh, people and educators to try to, uh, to show our students that there's more to life than just marching and there's more to life than, than college football and so that they are a part of a greater community. And all of that goes to shape the culture and to really um, you know, instill in our students kind of an attitude of gratitude and, uh, and a sense that they are part of a greater community. And so those tools that, we, that, uh, that we've used successfully to shape culture uh, are, are again absent in this, in this report. You know, if the report was supposed to st uh, talk about culture, uh, then, then it missed the mark by a mile because there's an entire culture of wonderful things that the band has done mm -hmm. uh, that the report chose and, the, and those who wrote the report chose to ignore. Well, bringing this back to what's happening today, mm -hmm. uh, you've mentioned many a time in a lot of your appearances, a lot of the interviews you've done, that you want to exhaust every option you can before suing the university. Mm -hmm. At what point will you hit that, that wall? You know, I, I love Ohio State. I love this place. I love everything about it. It is a wonderful confluence of people, ideas, students from not only the state of Ohio, but from all over the 50 states and international students. We have uh, students that represent the very best in our world right here. I love Ohio State. I love the people uh, with whom I worked. I love the students uh, with whom I worked. And um, that's too important to me. Mm -hmm. That's too important. And the institution of the Ohio State Marching Band is too important for me just to walk away and say, no, I, I'm sorry, especially predicated on, uh, on this report. And so um, I am here to represent our students and our alumni and, and myself who've been so um, drastically and adversely changed by uh, this report and the actions of just a few. Mm -hmm. you know, and so again, we make the call. We, we have, we have uh, made the call time and time again in, in various fashions for the university just to take a step back and open a dialogue. You know, this is a, a, a place of great research, great uh, thinking. We have the, the very best and brightest minds on our faculty in all fields of study. And, and certainly, um, we as a university must realize that, that the other side of this story is being ignored. Uh, and, and perhaps on purpose, I don't know, but being ignored. And we, if we are honest, if we are, if we are honest brokers of the truth and want 
really want the, the Ohio State Marching Band and our university to move forward, then we have to take a look at what has come before and understand it in context, understand it in context of history, understand it in where we are now, and then understand how we move forward. And, and that is, uh, I think, the, the best um, way that, that our university can, uh, can move forward and, and, and really how we can forward the mission of our band. Right, and you know, but the university has been adamant in saying they're not giving you your job back. And since it's been over a month since mm -hmm. this investigation, it seems like you're running out of options. Are you going to sue? You know, I, so it took me a long time to get the job. You know, I, I sacrificed and worked for uh, 10 years as the assistant director and made wonderful changes, by the way, in the band even during those times, and, and most significantly the past 22 months uh, as director. Um, so, so a month, a month and a half of time passed uh, since my firing, that's, that's not a long time. Um, especially because of the stakes we're dealing with, especially because, because of the importance of the institution. The Ohio State Marching Band is 135 years old. And, uh, and it has been uh, a wonderful gem in our community for so long, and it's worth fighting for. It's worth, uh, it's worth standing up for, no matter how long it takes, no matter how many months, years, whatever it takes uh, to, to clear the names uh, of those students and to clear the names uh, of, of our alums, um, it, it's worth it. And so, you know, in terms of a lawsuit, I, you know, I, I am... That's not my makeup. I'm not a Sue person, and a, you know th this is the first um, you know uh, talk of legal activity that I've ever been in involved in in my life. And so, no, I don't want to sue Ohio State. I love this university, but we are uh, looking at all the options. And you know we're not on a definite timeline here, but we are looking at all the options. And so, you know, it's my love for this place and for the students here uh, goes deeper than any lawsuit, uh, any uh, flawed report. Um, that is all kind of um, clamor on the sides of this issue. And the, the issue is our students and the, the institution of the Ohio State Marching Band. Four to six months for a new band director. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned earlier that you don't have a definite timeline right. for taking any legal action, looking mm -hmm. for a different job. The university definitely has a timeline. Mm -hmm. How are you going to integrate both of those pieces? Well, you know, that's a, that's a fair question and a, and a good question. And, and I think it's kind of a day-by-day -day thing. Uh, you know, we, we don't necessarily, you know, have a plan that by the end of this week we're going to do this and by the end of next week and next month. There, there's not that kind of plan. There's, there's, you know, we take it day by day. And so, um, you know, I, I know the university keeps talking about moving on, but the moving on part has to be uh, with, with great reflection on what has been done. The university made the report. The university did the damage. And now, you know, certain people are saying, we just want to move on. And I, and I don't think that's possible. I think we have to repair the damage uh, and, and then take steps together to move on. And, uh, and, and I'm here to do that. You said you're not on a definite timeline here. How have you been, what is that process like working with your attorney? You, you have an attorney. You're mm -hmm. prepared to handle all of this with, any, you know, with a lawsuit, potentially, in the future. When do you think... When would you stop exhausting your options? You've said that countless times. What can students expect from you? Students can expect uh, for me, uh, from me, the truth, um, and to and to be a person of character who stands up for the truth. Um, that's that's what I'm here for. Uh, and and so you know timelines. I I don't know because the legal profession is not my. Um, not my forte. Uh, and, and so, you know, I, I will let the attorneys sort of deal with that end of things. And, and I'm just here being me, um, standing up for our students and standing up for our university. Going back to the university a little bit and its role in this whole process, they have been adamant in saying you're not getting your job back, they're not planning on reinstating you. Have you been looking elsewhere? Have you been receiving offers from other schools? You know, that's, uh, I get that question uh, often, and um, thank you for asking. I, um, 
at, at this point, we're not entertaining any, um, you know, any other uh, thoughts right now. You know, look, the, the, the college football season has started, and anybody out in the profession of marching band, um, you know, they have their positions and the schools are set for, for the year, and so this is not the time to look for a job uh, in our profession anyway. But, um, you know, I, we are not at this point pursuing uh, other options. Uh, you know, it's, it's, this is too important, and this, this uh, again, is, um, is my focus and, and where uh, I think we all must be focused. And, and we can't just allow, um, we just cannot, and I cannot with every fiber of my being, allow this report to stand our students to walk into uh, a grocery store um, with an Ohio State marching band shirt on and have somebody make uh, some kind of derogatory comment to them. Just a year ago, just one year ago, those students wore that stuff with pride and people knew and their families knew, their communities knew, our community knew that they were part of the, the Ohio State marching band and that they were at a level that was, that was um, you know, vaunted and respected. And in just a short year, in fact, in, in, with, with a 23-page flawed report, that whole thing has been attacked and, and brought uh, to the ground. And so, you know, when our students walk out into the community, I want them to be able to wear that Ohio State marching band shirt with pride. I want them to be able to wear uh, Ohio State marching band uh, gear and, and when they're in uniform, not have people wonder as they march by, were they part of this, uh, as the university describes it, sexualized culture? Because that is simply uh, not the case. And so, um, you know, that's where we are right now. That's truly where we are right now, and I will continue to live in that place and continue to occupy that space and to uh, fight for those students um, for as long as it takes to, so that they can be proud, again, to be part of the Ohio State Marching Band. And, and as long as the university stands by that report, those students and those alums cannot be proud to be in this organization. And. Is there something that you've learned from this whole process, the biggest takeaway you've had from, from the investigation to any of the repercussions afterwards to where you are now? What has been your largest takeaway from this whole piece of your life? Well, several things. Um, <clears throat> first, that there is, um, there is great love and joy in the human spirit. That when someone is down, we as people um, do come to their aid. I felt that tremendously by our community and by my family and friends and by our alums and our students, our current students. Uh, I have felt so embraced by them, so held up by them, so um, loved by them. That is, I, I think, the, the best uh, part. You know, my wife and I are closer. Um, my kids and I are closer. Those are the wonderful things that, that have uh, come out of this tragedy. Uh, and, and, you know, on the other side, the disappointment I see is um, the fact that this wonderful university um, and, and just a few people will not sit down with us and talk about these things and will not just walk back. I mean, there's, there, it's never too late to change. It's never too late to uh, examine and to, uh, you know, to embrace. I don't hold any ill will toward anybody here. You know, I love uh, every person at the Ohio State University and the administration. Um, I, and all I'm asking for is them to, uh, again, take a step back and to uh, embrace conversation and embrace open uh, thought and, and, uh, and debate. And, and unfortunately, we just never had that opportunity. So I, I have seen, I think, the, the best in, in human endeavor and uh, of side of, of uh, we as humans that, um, you know, become entrenched and, and maybe unwilling to talk and, and to, uh, you know, to be open to conversation. Have you learned anything about yourself? Um, you know, I, I have learned that, um, you, you know, that we, I've, I, about my, well, that's a, that's a very interesting question um, because I never had the world figured out. You know, before this, I don't have it figured out now. Um, 
I think that what I have learned about myself in this process is um, that truth matters and that um, you know if we stand by that truth, uh, people will see that and and people will also stand in that truth. And so you know so many people we see coming forward to support the band and, and to support our cause, um, that's because they know they know the truth and they know um, that this institution is um, is means that much to them. And so I guess, you know, about myself, that's, that's sort of what I've learned uh, about myself, to, to stand in the truth. And the marching band plays at home this weekend. Mm -hmm. Will you be there watching them? Uh, I haven't been invited to, to come to the game, and, and uh, you know, I, I, I think it would be very difficult to, uh, to attend a game live. Um, you know, I... I hope to uh, at some point, but um, right now I, I think uh, you know the 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 scars are are too deep and the the emotion is too much you know at this point. Um, this was something that I devoted my life to. This is something um, who friends from back home remember as a kid that I wanted to do uh, and and certainly this is something that um, colleagues uh, have helped me, me to achieve over the last uh, couple of years and um, it's just been every piece of my being. It's been every fiber in my body. Uh, everything that I am is Ohio State and every, every uh, person that has supported me has uh, also supported Ohio State and loved this university and that's, you know, that's just who I am. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us or add? Um, just that, that uh, I miss our students very much. That's uh, the, the worst part of this, not, not you know, losing the job and, and you know, all the, the, the things on the legal side, but for me to lose our students. That has been, um, I think, the most difficult to deal with. Uh, but, you know, I know that we will have resolution one day to this. I know that we will come together as a university community and a family and embrace one another. Uh, and, and I know that, that this dark time will become bright uh, someday in the future. And any advice for your family going forward? They're hoping to search for a new band director in four to six months. What are your thoughts on that? And do you think the interim director is in potentially a new director in that amount of time will lead the band the same way? You know, the, the, we always say that the band is uh, larger than any one person, and, and uh, I'm, I'll be the first to say that. The band will continue to perform wonderfully. The students will be, uh, continue to be the wonderful students that they are, not the ones represented in that report. Uh, and the students will, um, will represent our university with great class pride and dignity. And, and so um, the band will move on. Uh, you know, and, and no one person is, is larger than the institution. Um, you know, I think I'm perfectly geared to lead our band and to, uh, to lead it forward, to uh, do all the things that we do, to raise funds, to, um, to have musical experiences for our students, uh, to engage in community outreach. And I think, uh, you know, since we did that together, I'm the most qualified to do that still, and I believe in myself. I believe, uh, you know, that I, that I can do that. Um, if it happens that another person leads the organization, the organization will go forward, um, but uh, I feel very, very adamantly that, uh, that I need to be part of that process. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Waters. Absolutely. We appreciate it. Yes.